Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to route your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 for AT&T. Now this is a very easy process. All you need is two files, so let's go grab those right now. But before you route your Note 3, you should be aware that using this method, you will lose all the data on your phone and you will also void your warranty. So do not proceed if those two things are undesirable. If you want to do it anyway, then it might be wise to back up your media files like music, movies, and pictures to your PC. And also this process, this unrooting process is always reversible and I'm going to make a video very soon on how to reverse it. So don't be scared if you want to try something out. Anyway, let's go grab the files we need and root this beast. So in the uh, description of this video, I have a link to this post on my website, which has all the information and the download links you're going to need for this uh, routing process. So under required files, I want you to go and grab Android ADT bundle. So click this link and then just click download the SDK and then choose whether you have a 32-bit PC or a 64-bit PC and then click download and this file will start to download and this is a 500 megabytes file okay and then the next file you need is root de la vega okay so click that and it's going to take you to the uh, XDA developers website now this is the guy that was able to root the AT&T version of the Note 3 so props to him and then if you download uh, if you uh, scroll down here it's gonna say I'll required files download so you can either click this download link for direct download, which I have to tell you is ki kind of slow, or you can go to mirrors and use the torrent file. My torrent was done in three minutes, okay? This one was dragging. But if you don't know what torrent means, or if you don't want to use torrents, just do the direct download, okay? But these are the two files you are going to need, and that's it. So let's move on to the next step. So after you download the files, what I do is I create a root folder and within my root folder I have all these different folders and for the Galaxy Note 3 I have all the files in this Galaxy Note 3 folder. So if you go in, here's root de la vega and here's the ADT bundle. This file is extra, you don't need this, so let me take that off. So root de la vega is going to be a big archived file and you are going to need to unzip it using the free program called 7-zip okay and then the ADT bundle is just a regular uh, file it's also a zip file you have to extract this so let's extract this right here okay so after the uh, extraction process is complete I want you to delete this zip file obviously and then go into ADT bundle and keep digging in until you find the platform tools folder I want you to copy this go back to the beginning and paste this folder right here and then you can delete this because the only thing that we need off of this ADT bundle folder is the platform tools folder refresh that's gone so that's everything we need now we're ready to go switch over to your phone Okay, so back on your phone, make sure your phone is connected to your computer at this point. Use the cable to connect it to your uh, PC, the micro USB cable. And then go to the settings and go to general. And at the bottom here, you're going to see developer options. If you don't see developer options, what you have to do is you have to go into about device. And you have to tap the build number seven times. If you tap it seven times this menu will appear so once this menu is here you go in developer options and make sure USB debugging is enabled and click OK now once you enable the USB debugging your computer might start to install some drivers okay just let that go through that's not a big deal okay then you can go back out here to home Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is go into root. Okay, go to Galaxy Note 3 and go to platform tools. Anywhere in this folder, 
press shift and click right on your mouse right click on your mouse and then uh, choose op open command window here okay and then take this little guy and type in ADB devices okay as long as you see this random number here and device next to it that means the ADB command is working and that's what we're gonna need alright so the next step is for us to actually boot into the download mode for our uh, Galaxy Note 3 so here's the Galaxy Note 3 we're currently in the regular operating system so on the command prompt I want you to type in ADB okay um, reboot download okay this is going to take you into the download mode for the Galaxy Note 3 watch the phone okay so the phone is restarting and we are in fact in the download mode okay so once we're in the download mode what I want you to do is minimize this command prompt window don't close it just minimize it for now go back to Galaxy Note 3 root and then go to root de la Vega and run this file right here so double tap this okay and all you want to do is you want to click start and we're gonna let this one run its course so a huge file is being written to the phone right now so this is going to take a while and you have a status bar up here that is giving you the progress looks like it's faster than usual because we're using USB 3.0 at least I'm using USB 3.0 if you guys are using USB 2.0 it's going to be a little bit slower than this you can also see the progress on the phone okay so we got the pass over here on the screen and as you can see the phone is now rebooting we don't really need for the phone to reboot at all we're just gonna wait for this um, whatever is happening on the screen to finish and now what you wanna do is you wanna flip the phone over remove the back cover remove the back cover see the phone is loading regularly so that doesn't really matter to you just remove the battery remove the battery reinsert the battery now the next step is to actually go into the boot loader mode again to the download mode I mean and to do that what you're going to do is you're going to um, press and hold volume down power and home button at the same time okay so let's do that right now let me do that right now so volume down power and the home button at the same time until the phone vibrates once the phone vibrates you let it go and this is the screen that you get it's a warning screen and then you want to click uh, volume up to continue okay now we're gonna switch back over to our computer okay so now you can actually exit out of this okay so X and then go back to the same folder and launch Odin version 3.09 say yes okay now here what you want to do is you want to go to AP right over here and click on it and then navigate to the root de la vega folder click this root de la vega dot tar file and click open okay and then leave everything alone and click start and this is going to also take a while now after this process completes we are going to let the phone boot completely to the Android system 
Okay, the process is complete. It says reset on the screen, and which is what you would see. Now let the Gal Galaxy Note 3 uh, boot into the system as usual, and then there's a few more steps we're going to take, and then we're done. Now once your uh, phone loads up and comes to here, you just want to click get started and just skip everything, okay? So click next, uh, exit, I understand, next, next skip finish okay once we're here what we're going to do is we're going to switch back to the computer real quick okay so back on the computer you can exit out of everything so you don't need anything that we were working with so you can get out of the command prompt and you can get out all these folders what I want you to do is I want you to go back into the root folder and the Galaxy Note 3 folder and go to root de la Vega and then I want you to extract this root de la Vega zip file. So click extract all, extract. And the contents of this two files, I want you to copy them and then go to my computer, find the Samsung device, okay, which is still connected to the computer by the way. Okay, and then go into the internal storage and just paste them right here okay as soon as you paste them I want you to go ahead and restart the phone so restart the phone Okay, once your Samsung shows back up on your computer, go inside, go to the internal storage, and this time, delete the two files that you copied over. Remember, the files that you copied over were root files and root de la Vega. Okay, so delete this, delete the root files, and finally, after you did do this, you have to do one final reboot so restart again okay so now your phone is in fact rooted so let's go to the app drawer and let's take a look at the super su file which should have been loaded by now which is right here you tap that say no thanks or if you want to follow this guy go ahead okay so as long as you have this app running that means you are rooted and the super user has been enabled and as you know the super user is the uh, ultimate user in a Linux based system so you are rooted and you are good to go so get out of here all right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.